Hey everyone, how y'all doing? It's new knife day today. Order from River's Edge Cutlery. They sent it out really fast, no issues with them. I ordered it late, late at night. Next day it was in the mail, being shipped. USPS, when it comes from Ohio. I don't know how they do it, but they'll go to Buffalo. Well, first, all of our mail goes through Rochester. But this goes to Buffalo then Syracuse, then Albany, and all the way back across, and then to me. I don't know why it does that, but it takes two extra days. But yeah, this is a knife I've been kind of wanting for quite a while. And I am using the Spyderco Native 5 Lightweight today. Spy 27 Steel. Absolutely love this knife. I carried this thing for two months straight, and I'm still... It's still showing up in my pocket every couple of days. But <clears throat> this is one I've been in interested in a while. And I was going to get a Delica 4 because that's like, you know, one of the classic EDC knives. Everyone has one. They use it for size comparisons. And I never had one. Never used it, never held one, never seen one in person. And looks like I got some cool stuff in here. Um, but I was going to get the VG10, the basic model. And it's like, you know, I really don't want VG10. I want a Delica. Maybe I'd get the S30V, but I have a lot of S30V blades. And there's other ones you can get. So, I saw the Salt 2 in stock, so that's what I got, because the LC 200 and Steel, I've heard a lot of good stuff about it, and I want to try it. So what we got here, um, looks like a little, little band-aid kit. Probably cut, let's open this thing up, check this thing out. Little EDC type of item. Yeah, holds a bunch of little band-aids. That's cool because I put these in pouch, you know, band-aids in pouches and stuff, and they get crushed. This is my receipt. Got a cool sticker here. Welcome to River Zed's Cutlery. Established 2003. Here's their card. Little thank you note. So that's cool. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I'll use that. Um, let's close up the native five. Let's get to the package. Got brown paper, and then <clears throat> the standard spiderco box. Nothing special there. But here we go. C A A F P G R two salt two green. Made in Japan. Again, my first Spyderco knife made out of out of Japan. I have it was the price. That's not the price I paid. I paid 124 something. Not not 135 dollars. I probably would have skipped it. But let's check this thing out. Pretty cool. What's in here? He's got another got a Spyderco sticker. Got the book which tells about the Salt series, the evolution of Salt One and Salt Two. Talks about the LC 200N. I'll have to check this out later for sure. Um, this is just an unboxing. And very first impressions. So that's pretty green. The FRN feels pretty good. I like it. I like the FRN and the Native 5. Very similar. Um, similar but a little bit different. You can see the square is a little bit larger. Than the ones on the native five. 
overall length. The Salt 2 is a little bit longer in the handle at least. But yeah, very, this thing is very lightweight. Very, very lightweight. I like the green. I like the black coated hardware. Nice. Nice smooth action. It is locked back, just like the Native 5. I don't mind that. Ergos. Actually, it feels pretty good. Um, pocket clip, I do feel it. I feel that. And we'll get to the pocket clip. But for a while, I'm going to keep it. The standard, standard clip, try it out. Um, does have a pretty aggressive thumb ramp. Feels okay. You can choke up a little bit up here on the Ricasso. But check the blade out. Kind of sheep's foot blade. Unlike the Delica, comes more to a point. Kind of a straight. Well, it's got, I know the Delica has just a little bit of drop on the end, but a lot more point to it. But yeah, I mean, we can go over the specs. I wrote some down, do some size comparisons, and we'll look at this a little closer. So, the Salt 2 Lightweight, um, it's got LC200N Steel, which is supposed to be really nice, holds an edge for... You know, a good amount of time, easy to sharpen, totally stainless, um, shouldn't rust or patina or anything. Um, it's a little bit higher, taller this way than the Delica, and the tip's different. Handle, supposedly, is all the same, same profile, might be just a touch thicker. In this dimension but yeah so what you get overall length of this is 7.25 seven and a quarter inches the blade is three inches overall not sure what the cutting edge equals to by my ruler guesstimate I'm getting about two and three quarter a little less than two and three quarter of cutting edge um, blade stock did I yeah three inches blade thickness 0 0.10 that's that's pretty thin full flat grind feels fairly feels fairly thin behind the edge um, handle 4.25 inches long. It's plenty long enough. I'm liking that. The width, this dimension, they have listed at 1.125 inches. Um, it is more slender than the Native 5. Thickness is 0 0.43. So it's the same thickness as the Native 5 lightweight. That's pretty cool. I like I like the size thickness of that. Um, <clears throat> very like I said, it's very lightweight. It's under two ounces, one point nine ounces. It's listed. Um, we can definitely check that real fast. Pounds and ounces. Yep, one up to one point nine. Compare that to the Native 5, which I thought was lightweight, the 2.4. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, geez, I'm knocking everything all over. <clears throat> all the hardware is coated. The clip is coated. And that is supposed to be, from what I hear, in red, titanium. So that's good. I don't know. Screws are stainless and they're coated or... If anything else is titanium, but you have four position pocket clip placement. You got tip up 
right hand tip up left hand tip down tip down and there's little brass inserts so that's cool now this knife has no bearings no washers in the pivot it rides right on the FRN and I don't know if you can see in there pretty good but let me get a let me get some kind of light you can see where it rides on you got like raised flat parts in there that the blade rides on I don't know if you can see that or not but and there are no steel liners it's just the FRN which I don't care because the Native 5 does not have washers or liners either and this one feels a little more solid probably because it's taller and shorter and whatnot um, same thickness overall yeah this one's just longer so you get a little more flex I do not it does not bother me I have abused this one so bad um, for over two months I've sharpened it three times I have not had an issue this thing is still rock solid when it's locked no play in the middle here it is it's just been a great knife it's never flex dimey twisted or anything so I'm not afraid of not having liners or washers on a Spyderco even the pair of three only has one bushing one washer but yeah, um, fit and finish on this thing looks good. I kind of wish that gap wasn't there. I wish they'd done, made it so there wasn't a gap there. Looks more, and look more refined like the Native 5. But that's just my, that's just me. The bug out's kind of like that. Um, FRN's nice. I know a lot of people hate FRN. I I don't mind it at all. I think it's good. Especially the ones on the spider coals for the most part. But yeah. The bug out, you know, the the ones that were on my bug out, I didn't mind those at all. I did swap them out for G10 for something different. But man, I can't wait to rock this, try out this LC200N. Like I said, I've heard good things about it. Um, Seki City, if I can get it, Japan. So it's my first Delica, even though it's a little bit different. My first knife out of, my first Spyderco out of Japan. And... How easy is it to close one-handed? Kind of got to do that. Open smooth. No issues there. Yeah. It'll break in a little bit. This thing is freaking awesome. But yeah. I got some. I got my spider clothes out. We'll do size comparisons real fast and close this up, I think. <clears throat> Up against the Native 5 Lightweight. Yeah, I got all kinds of crud on here. It's definitely longer than the Native 5. Got more blade, or cutting edge. The blades, blades almost the same. They're both 3 inches. But get more cutting edge than the Salt 2. Handle is longer. It's not as tall is the native five and let's bring out the other ones how about putting it up against the pm2 definitely it's shorter than the pm2 cutting edge yeah the cutting edge on the pm2 is definitely longer handles a lot longer 
This is the S30V Black G10 basic version. I do have these micarta scales from Sharp Dressed Knives, a lynch clip on this one, a lynch clip on the Native 5, a little custom backspacer in front of mine 3D printed. And that weighs a lot compared to that one. So that's the PM2. How about the Manix 2 lightweight? <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely a lot of difference here. Blade's longer, handle's longer, it's taller. The blade is a lot taller. A um, little different profile. Again, lightweight. This is probably my least favorite FRN out of the ones I have, but it's not bad. That has a wire clip. And the pair of three might be a decent comparison. Well, the handles look about the same length. Blades. That, I think that's a three inch blade. Maybe just under. Get just a little bit more cutting edge and assault too. Just a little tiny bit. Handles a little sh shorter than the pair of three. I'm thinking pair of three might be actually a little thicker in the handle. But this is your base model CTS BD1. FRN, wire clip, compression lock, awesome EDC knife. Um, now, I'll put it up against something smaller. <clears throat> One of my little favorite Spider Coles, I just carried this the other day, is the Spider Cole Urban. It is a slip joint, has N690 steel, wire clip, FRN handles are completely different. All these that I show except for the PM2 had this bi-directional pattern. It works great for grip. This has, I don't know, just checkered. It's not bad, it's got good grip. Awesome little knife. This is made in Italy. And um, awesome little knife. I like it, but yeah, you can see the difference here. The Salt 2 slash Delica type knife here. It's a lot longer. Blade's a lot longer. A lot more cutting edge. Um, this has no liners. I'm not sure if this has bushings in a pivot or not. I've, I've never taken this apart. But just out of curiosity, let's see what the weight comparison is. What did I say? This 1.9. Yep. And the Urban is 1.9. So that's pretty interesting. Um, just knock the camera. Apologize. A smaller knife. Weighs exactly the same. Um, the blade stock's thicker on the, the Urban. Tips look about the same. But yeah, the blade stock's definitely thicker on the Urban. And this is a little slicey little monster here. So, I really dig the Urban, but man, I'm liking, I'm liking the Salt too. Now, I, I know what the Delica would feel like in hand. I know the Delica, this thumb ramp is a little bit less. The Salt 2 does have a larger hole. And it has a larger hole than a Delica, but it is the same. Same as a PM and a PM2. Appears to be the same as on the Manix 2. Pair of 3. Um, I don't know. It looks the same. Native 5. Let me open it up. It is 
It is a little bit bigger, larger than the Nader 5. And that might be one critique I have about this is the hole is covered a little bit. Doesn't really cause an issue. But like this one right out in the open works good. Sharp enough to, you know, grab you, but not sharp enough to hurt or anything. Um, overall, this is pretty nice. And this is a 20-minute video and an unboxing of first impressions. But, yeah, um, I'm going to rock this. I'm going to carry it. And if I carry it for a week, I'll do a one-week update. If I carry it for two, I'll try to do the two-week update. And if I carry it for an entire month, I'll do a full review. Otherwise, full review will be coming down the road a ways. But, <clears throat> yeah, I'm really digging this. Like I said, I'm going to try this clip. And that's going to be quite a bit of green sticking out, out of your pocket. But, I'm going to give it a try because I almost instantly... Um, change out clips I usually as soon as I order a knife I jump over and order a lynch clip I did not do it on this one I'm gonna give this a try and I can tell you I can feel it I can feel the tip of it um, so I don't know I'm gonna give it a try but I guess that's it for this video and uh First impressions unboxing of the Spyderco Salt 2 Lightweight with LC200N Steel. Can't wait to test the steel out. And stay tuned for updates. I'll give you updates on this, and I guess that's it. So do use a like, comment, subscribe. And until the next video, bye.